This is a Mongoose XR Pro, a 29-inch full suspension retail store mountain bike that sold for $399 when it was in production. I was lucky enough to pick one up off a co-worker for a whopping 50 bucks. Like most people on the modern age, as soon as I got the bike home, I went straight to Google and YouTube to research what it was all about. What I found was pretty shocking. There is almost a cult following of people that modify the XR Pro into a fully functional mountain bike that can compete with the most high dollar name brands out there. So, I decided to do a few upgrades of my own. Here's what I've done so far. I still have the stock 8 speed cassette on there with the pretty solid even though now outdated SRAM X4 derailleur. Don't worry though, I have plans for that. Moving on up to the drivetrain, I ditched the hunk of metal stock 3x SR Suntour drive with a 32T JG bike chain rink and the IFX crank set. These components are very affordable, but time will tell how durable they are. So far, they're holding up pretty solid. Next, a pedal replacement to a platform mountain bike. The Mizra... Miz, it's a race face Chester knockoff at the end of the day. The stock pedals weren't bad, but I wanted the yellow color here. I'm not a fan of bottle cages, but I added this customized 50 strong brand one, made in the USA. Nothing special about the cage, but it's a great company. I'm still rocking the stock SR Suntour front suspension too, but that too shall pass in the near future. I added some lock on grips to match the yellow black theme that's going on here, with a Wake 45mm headset and Ace Kit 720mm wide bars that are just fantastic. These are still stock wheels, but they're getting the job done for now. I have Goodyear rubber on here. Even though not a brand you hear much in mountain biking, these tires are pretty grippy and roll over moderate stumps and bumps with these. One thing I splurged on a bit was a saddle. This is a surface dual density gel seat that's super comfy. No complaints, which says a lot for, for me in a saddle. I still retain the stock rear shock, but a pattern you may pick up on here that this will be replaced soon as well. So the Goose, as it's been dubbed in my family, has turned out to be great in my opinion and looks, but how does it perform? Now I've not taken it out to any black diamond tracks for sure, nor would I, but from the light trails and local areas I have taken it to, I can say for certain that the handling of the Goose has vastly improved from where it started. You would think that going from a 3x8 to a 1x8 drivetrain would be a sacrifice, but I would dare to say that I improved the gear setup. I'm powering over hills now that I struggled with before the conversion. The bike started at 38 pounds, and with just the little work that I've put in, it's taken it to just under 35, but it still made it super nimble, making me want to jump around on the bike. Those wider handlebars paired with the shorter stem makes the bike handle like a Cadillac, even in tight terrain, and that new saddle makes ease of a long ride. The 1x8 drivetrain, now that's one of the best additions to the bike as of now. Check out the rest of these clips as I navigate around with the Goose. So, is my Mongoose XR Pro the best bike? No. But the point here is that you can take just about any bike and customize it to your liking that can make it comparable to anything else out there. Even better, by going this route, you can continue to build on your changes a little at a time, allowing you to not break the bank and enjoy the ride at the same time, what well, this is really all about anyway. If you're watching this, it's likely because you have a Mongoose XR Pro, or really any bike that you are upgrading. So if you like this, stay tuned as I will post more videos on the Goose and its progress as I continue to upgrade. Thanks for watching and remember to get out and ride.